My mom is a nurse practitioner and she was a nurse practitioner in an emergency room. And I think that was significant because that was where often you see all the broken parts of our health system or frankly, lack of a health system. And I remember thinking about telling folks, oh, I was thinking about going to medicine. And there were a lot of actual folks who waved me off. Oh, medicine's broken, healthcare's broken. But for me, that actually motivated me more to think about, well, okay, well, maybe if I get into this, um, I can think about how to make it better. COVID-19 is highly contagious. And unfortunately, it's disproportionately affecting, like I said, the Latinx and Hispanic individuals and communities in North Carolina. Leading the COVID response for North Carolina was life-changing. Early months of the COVID crisis were the most weighty, challenging, hard things that I've ever done before. And it, that's not because we worked a lot of hours, which we did, um, but it was the weight of the, and the intensity of the, the hard decisions that we had to make. Um, we asked everyone to change their lives completely, to stay home, to not see loved ones, to close businesses that they had given their life's work to. I mean, it, it, just things I couldn't have imagined asking folks to do um, in service of trying to keep everyone protected. I think we protected folks. Um, I think we got them through a hard time by being transparent, by building trust with folks. I think I will feel forever be associated with the three W's um, and wear, wait, and wash. But I think it was bigger than that. What I think is we charted a vision for North Carolina about how can North Carolina be healthy. That is what I hope folks will remember of what we started under my tenure at the department is, is driving towards health in a unified way. But if I'm the three W's lady, I'm, I'm really proud of that contribution as well. <laughs>